A member of the Russian Armed Forces made a significant error in judgment. Because of this error, the entire order of the Russian army has been thrown off the people of Russia for making such a mistake. There are a lot of different hypotheses floating around about why the Russian soldiers got it wrong. Let's have a conversation about this remarkable occurrence, shall we? To begin, let's go back in time a little bit and review what happened. Gordon Russia Maggot has had a very successful academic career throughout his entire. He was eligible for financial aid at some of the most prestigious educational institutions in Russia. Something happened to him just as he was about to finish his education at the university, and it altered the course of his life. After making the decision to invade Ukraine, Putin completely appended the lives of everyone currently residing in Russia. As soon as Meek received his diploma, he was conscripted into the... He was only 22 years old at the time, and he had no intention of giving his life for Putin. He aspired to have a successful career in academia and to major in science. He had a lot of hopes and dreams, but Putin ruined the shopping center when neither of them expected to be drafted into the army. He experienced a great deal of fear because he was unprepared to fight. In addition to this, the education that he obtained during this time was very. Magma had no prior experience with military strategy, but despite this, he was quickly thrust into combat after receiving only a cursory amount of training. Because the Russian army was suffering from a chronic lack of soldiers, the Russian military's entire organization was thrown into disarray. As a result of the successful operations of the Ukrainian army, a significant number of Russian soldiers were either killed or... It is also well known that thousands of soldiers deserted their post or participated in a rebellion against their superiors. As a result of these crises within the Russian army, a large number of soldiers were deployed to the conflict zone without having received the appropriate level of training. Mohammed was a member of that group. While in the conflict zone, Mohammed had a great deal of fear. He frequently awoke in the middle of the night screaming from his nightmares. He witnessed the passing of many of his friends. He was terrified that he too would be killed in this conflict. This thought caused his psychological state to deteriorate even further. Mohammed served in the 37th Separate Guard Motorized Rifle Brigade during his time in the military in Russia's Krisko a lost region. He served as a sentry at a military installation. On the Russian side of the border with Ukraine, you'll find Krisko Glass. Mohammed lived in constant dread of an operation being carried out by the Ukrainian army. That was the reason he had such a hard time sleeping. He never left the lookout tower where he was stationed. He was trying to keep an eye on everything in the area using the camera that was attached to his sniper rifle while Mohammed was stationed at the watch. Two other soldiers began making their way toward the Russian base through his binoculars. He observed more than the soldiers in question. Mohammed was still terrified despite the fact that the soldiers were dressed in Russian army uniforms. He was completely unaware that these soldiers were going to show up. We are going to return believe that these individuals were members of the Ukrainian armed forces. He was under the impression that in order to carry out a covert operation, they had disguised themselves as members of the Russian army because he had such a poor opinion of the soldiers. He was filled with dread. Mohammed made the decision to stop the two soldiers as they approached the Russian base because they were heading in that direction. He yelled for them to stop and asked who was there following Mohammed. The Russian soldiers had the impression that they had been taken prisoner and consequently laid down on the ground. They were going through such intense fear that they were completely unable to respond to Moga's questions. Although the soldiers had made the decision to move forward by crawling, Moga's looked through his binoculars and saw that the soldiers were actually moving forward. Luft was now absolutely certain that those men were members of the opposing force. He made the decision to begin fur. To begin, he fired a shot into the back of the head of the soldier after he had finished off one of the soldiers. He then turned his attention to the other one. He fired his weapon once more, and this time the Russian soldier was severely hurt. When the other sentries saw this, they immediately began firing on Mohammed. The exchange of gunfire between the soldiers was quickly brought to end. Mohammed was taken into custody almost immediately by Russian commanders. Sadly, during the exchange of gunfire, one of the Russian soldiers was killed. Tamir Ga, a 19-year-old Tartus Stone resident and soldier, has been identified as the fallen service member. Velas, K, 22 years old, and originally from Nob, was the soldier who suffered a serious. On the other hand, this soldier passed away while being treated in the hospital. The occurrence is being looked into as thoroughly as possible. At this time, the preparation of reports on this subject has been started by every commander in the cursive region. The Russian press is devoting a significant amount of attention to these reports right now. Two of the problems highlighted in the report are particularly. The first issue is that the Russian soldiers are always living in a state of panic and fear. According to the statements of all of the Russian commanders, the soldiers are experiencing a great deal of fear. This fear causes Russian soldiers to make mistakes on a regular basis, and as a result of this fear, Russian soldiers frequently make mistakes.
mistakes while fighting. During the course of the battle, a great number of Russian soldiers never emerged from the trench. This widespread dread of Russian military personnel is harmful to the image of the Russian armed forces. Overall, the world is filled with stories about how cowardly Russian soldiers were during the conflict. Putin boasted that Russia possessed the most formidable military in the world, but the Russian army is widely regarded as the most fearful military in the world. The additional information provided by the Russian commanders is much more interesting, and it can be found in their reports. It has been reported by Russian commanders that their troops are experiencing psychological issues as a direct result of the fear they are living with. The question that remains is why the Russian commanders are paying attention to these issues. In what ways can this problem affect the overall direction that the war? On the battlefield, Russian soldiers are seen to be behaving in a manner consistent with a state of constant panic every day. These soldiers spend a significant amount of time in the conflict zone. The conflict has been going on for nearly a year, and the soldiers are physically worn out as a result of the fact that soldiers in the Russian army do not receive sufficient food and are unable to find a suitable place to. It is common knowledge throughout the Russian military that its service members suffer from a problem known as sleep apnea. The nightmares that keep Russian soldiers awake at night are becoming increasingly frequent. As a consequence of the fact that this circumstance persisted for an extended period of time, Russian soldiers started to experience a great deal of psychological. According to the data presented in the report, a significant number of Russian soldiers frequently experience hallucinations. The Russian military personnel have trouble differentiating between reality and fantasy. The soldiers who are are hallucinating begin shooting in a variety of locations. According to reports, a significant number of Russian soldiers have been killed as a direct consequence of these incidents. The Russian commanders have the soldier who is having psychological issues treated in a medical facility. However, as of right now, there are not any more spots available in Russian hospitals. The Russian military personnel are having a hard time overcoming this obstacle. The consistent hallucinations experienced by the soldiers have been a contributing factor in the occurrence of a number of accidents. In order to solve this issue as quickly as possible, the Russian commanders want their troops to be provided with antidepressants on a continuous basis. On the other hand, this might bring about a decline in the performance of the soldiers serving the Kremlin administration in the conflict zone, a solution to the psychological issues that have arisen among the Russian soldiers as a result of their excessive fear. But the severity of these issues is only growing over because of the difficulties that the Russian armed forces are facing. Hundreds of service members are deserting their units, which has an effect on the overall all trajectory of the conflict. The situation for the Russian army is not looking good at all. What are your thoughts on the widespread dread of Russian military personnel? What do you think the impact of this fear of Russian soldiers will be on the overall direction of the? What are your thoughts on the fact that Russian soldiers make mistakes on a regular basis? What are your thoughts on the reports that were put together by the Russian commanders? Please share your thoughts with us. Keep up with us here for further updates. You can help us out by becoming a subscriber. During the course of one year, Russia's invasion of Ukraine sparked a major revolt that brought Russian commanders and Russian soldiers into the Krem. It has become just as unbearable for Russians to remain on the front line or to refuse to fight in this tragic war as it has become for Ukrainians. In fact, when we examined this procedure, we discovered a, there was a strong sense of community and a constant fight for survival among the Ukrainians. While the Russian commanders and soldiers were encouraged to wonder what they were fighting for in a conflict that was ultimately pointless within the span of one, Russia in the context of Putin's imperialist policies is attempting to advance on the territory of Ukraine, while Ukraine is defending its country against the occupying forces. As a result of Russia's occupation, occupation of Ukraine, the country has now entered a phase in which its decline is irreversible. Russia, which suffered a deep economic wound as a result of decisions to impose economic sanctions against Russia in conjunction with the beginning of the, continues to see the effects of these decisions, the visible aftermath of that wound on the front for a significant amount of time. The Russian army had largely lost its capability for combat, and the chain of command within the army had become so disorganized that it was impossible to unify. So the question is, how did the Russian army get to the this point. In point of fact, the most significant factor is the lack of discipline and ineptitude that exists within the, the qualifications of the soldiers that Putin appointed to high-ranking positions in the military were not investigated, but those positions went to people who were personally close to Putin. During the conflict, Putin dismissed a significant number of individuals whose performance was not deemed adequate. However, the commanders who were appointed to fill those positions were unable to perform up to the standards that had been set. In addition, throughout the duration of the, the soldiers 
soldiers were denied the ability to meet even their most fundamental requirements. Even some soldiers were deployed to the front lines with rusted AK-47 seconds from 1945. Of course, Russia's struggles to recover from the Great Depression are also a contributing factor in the Army's careless treatment of its soldiers because of the severe impact that Western sanctions had on the Russian economy. Domestic production in Russia came to a. This is assuming that approximately 80% of the fundamental needs of the Army were not met. The inability to supply the domestic markets led to the cessation of production, which was one of the contributing factors in the dissolution of the army. The war effort that Putin's troops are putting forth in Ukraine is not negatively impacted in any way by his consideration of this matter or his search for potential exit strategies from the current economic coag. The majority of the Russian troops that are currently stationed in Ukraine are soldiers who were mobilized in the fall. These soldiers are frustrated with their superiors because they were forced into battle without proper equipment on the battlefield. This rage is reflected in the abandonment of trenches and the decision to surrender by Russian soldiers who in recent months had deserted their post or been captured by Ukrainian forces. 80% of them were mobilized in the, and almost all of them complained that they were sent to Ukraine by Russia unarmed and lacking in the most fundamental of necessities. This topic has been the subject of a number of videos that have been circulated on social media, the most recent of which has caused a significant amount of fallout. A request for additional equipment and medical supplies has been made by a Russian regiment in recent. The commander of the group of mobilized soldiers from Russia's Kava lost addressed the call to the regional governor, Sergei Tai, saying that soldiers came almost naked in a desperation video call for its war in Ukraine. The call was addressed to the regional governor. Soldiers that have been assigned Topol are seen crying almost entirely naked. They're lacking in medical equipment and the only piece of medical equipment that they possess is a tourniquet. The soldiers who have been mobilized have only two pieces of body armor between them and almost no bodyguards. Everything else, including the sides, is totally open to view. They have almost nothing else and the soldiers don't even have thermal underwear, so they are on the verge of freezing. At the end of the video, People are seen pleading with the authorities to pay attention to what is going on and take the appropriate actions. Because it was shared on various social media platforms, the video has received more than 400,000 views to date. Russia was the first country to admit that there were issues with the military supply of. We have already informed you in our previous statement dated October 26 that Russia does not have sufficient equipment for the hundreds of thousands of soldiers who were conscripted in accordance with the mobilization decree issued by Russian President Vladimir Putin on September 20. First, according to reports from Russia, Putin has recently established a council that is working to resolve issues related to equipment and regional officials are working to provide the equipment that is lack. It is clear to us at this point that Russia has not made any headway in resolving this issue on the Russian side. Issues with the equipment have put the Ukrainian side in a position of great advantage with the majority of the mobilized forces, or they are simply sent to the front lines with inadequate equipment and without even the most fundamental necessities, such as food during the winter, they require more clothing and equip. They require clothing appropriate for the cold weather. They require the ability to maintain their body temperature. A video that was recently uploaded to social media shows soldiers who have been mobilized receiving New Year's gifts in boxes that bear the emblem of the ruling party in the country, which is called United Russia. In one of the gift boxes, there were items such as underwear, cigarettes, razors, tourniquets, bandages, oatmeal, pasta, and... Russia treats its soldiers with such indifference and expects the same level of performance from them. We'll make advancements on the front lines no matter how you look at it. This is a contradictory situation, and it is the most glaring example of the incompetence that exists within the Russian army. The question is, as a result of the Russian army's lack of discipline and inability to do their jobs, where will the war? Recent commentary on the conflict in Ukraine has been seen by specialists. The scale of the war also has its own unique characteristics. In the event that this conflict is reduced to a simple endurance contest, the Ukrainian people and their international backers are concerned that there will be more people on the side of Russia, and Russian President President Vladimir Putin is open to the idea of any number of Russian citizens serving in his administration. Perhaps there will be casualties in order to accomplish his goals. There is no point in the West sending any of its most advanced weapon systems because they won't be effective. The losses that Russia has already sustained are absolutely staggering. It has been reported that between 140,000 and 150,000 Russian soldiers have been killed making this. The largest number of Russian casualties suffered since World War I, however, the commander of the Ukrainian forces recently expressed his concern that Russia's armed forces contain an infinite number of men who can be mobilized. 
Also, Putin can continue to throw dead bodies into the conflict until such time as the Ukrainians have been worn down. Of course, it is not enough to have a larger population to win a war, nor is it enough for leaders to be willing to put their young men in. If it were South, Vietnam might be a sovereign nation that supports the United States today. Even though they have a numerical advantage, that does not necessarily mean that Russia will win. This appears to be the calculus that Putin used and the advantage that he relied on, which is unfortunate for those who want the bloodshed to stop as soon as possible. Possible. At the beginning of the conflict, it was actually the Ukraine that held the advantage in terms of men. A year ago, Russia began the invasion with an initial force of approximately 150,000, which faced off against an army of approximately the same size that was spread across the second largest country in Europe. Invaders typically require a 3 to 1 advantage over the territory's defenders in order to successfully capture and occupy a territory. This is the general, and the Russians did not make things any simpler for themselves by frequently operating in small formations that were only lightly defended without any logistical support or air cover, and by inflicting heavy losses on the Ukrainians. In the early stages of the conflict, according to estimates provided by the United States, Russia had lost approximately half of its initial occupation force by the end of the the special military operation that Putin was running was becoming unsustainable, and he was forced tossward to temporary measures like raising the age limit. Even though military service was mandatory and lucrative, signature bonuses were offered to service members. This was not enough to stop the bleeding combatants belonging to the mercenary group known as the Afghani Precautions, a growing number of members of the Wagner, most of whom were convicted criminals recruited directly from Russian prisons, participated in the conflict as well. Since then, Vanner has ceased the practice of conscripting prisoners. It appears that a good number of inmates have come to the conclusion that life in a Russian prison is preferable to life in a Ukrainian prison. When Putin issued the order to partially mobilize 300,000 soldiers in September, everything underwent yet another sea. After this, an astonishing victory was achieved against the poorly defended Russian positions surrounding Kiev, which is the second largest city in Ukraine. The vast majority of the newly recruited soldiers were plunged into combat almost immediately. Despite having received little to no training, and in some cases being provided with only partial equipment to contribute to the strengthening of the front lines, the completion of the mobilization was announced by the Russian Minister of Sergei Su in the month of October. Officials from the Ukrainian Intelligence Service estimated at the beginning of February that there were more than 300,000 Russian soldiers stationed in Ukraine with hundreds of thousands more standing by in reserve. You have, without a doubt, aimed to raise the total number of soldiers serving in the Russian armed forces to 1.5 5 million from the current total of 1.1. We are able to say that despite all of the other challenges faced by the Russian military, it does not currently suffer from a lack of manpower. On the other hand, by finding a solution to one issue, he might have created new ones. There is no question that the addition of new manpower has made a difference since the Russians withdrew from the city of Khan in November in order to move to more defensive. The Ukrainians were unable to make any significant further advances in their position. However, these victories came at an unexpectedly high cost to the Russians. In order to push backward, the Russians relied on so-called man-wave attacks that were carried out by unsupported infantry. These attacks were frequently met with heavy casualties at the hands of Ukrainian machine guns and grenade launch. At the beginning of February, NATO estimated that the Russians had lost up to 2,000 men for every 100 yards of territory that they had gained. The fact that Russia has a larger military contingent is without a doubt an asset on the battlefield. On the other hand, when these soldiers go into battle, unarmed and without any ammunition, they are the same as live targets naturally. The armed forces of Ukraine is comprised of a smaller number of people than the Russian army, but the arsenal of weapons and ammunition that the Ukrainian army possesses now gives it a distinct advantage over the Russian army, both on paper and in the field. In fact, we see glaring illustrations of this in badminton. Valor, which is the location of Russia's most recent defeats in international competi. Even if Russia were to send all of its people to Ukraine, it would not be able to accomplish much there due to the technological disadvantage. Over the course of the past year, we have witnessed and will continue to witness how effective technology can be when pitted against human power. So what are your thoughts, guys, regarding this matter? I would appreciate it if you would share your thoughts in the comments. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and that you have notifications turned on so that you are notified when we upload new videos. We appreciate you keeping an eye on us.
The statements made by Putin came as a surprise. With the assistance of NATO, Ukraine is making preparations to expel Russia from its territory in opposition to Russia. The peace forces have assumed their position. Putin was unable to find a way out of this particular situation. The revelation of the information that infuriated Russia has taken place since the conflict first broke out. It is a well-established fact that Russia has been making headway in the conflict on its own. On the other hand, Ukraine benefits from the backing of every country in the world. In fact, this support keeps growing stronger on a daily, as evidenced by official statements as well as ammunition aid. While Russia went into the war with confidence, due to the fact that it is a powerful country, Ukraine continues to get one step ahead of Russia day by day, despite the fact that the entire world has turned against us a cruel form of occupation. The Ukraine began to shift from a defensive to an offensive. Russia, which has sent occupation forces into territory belonging to Ukraine, runs the risk of suffering a crushing loss in this conflict. Since the beginning, Ukraine has been getting support from other countries, but the support it has received has never been this significant before. On the other hand, Russia's inexperienced army is having trouble holding its. The presence of a large number of mercenaries and unwilling soldiers is a contributing factor in this, along with the conscripted Russian army and a Ukrainian army that is valiantly fighting for independence. In addition, many nations from all over the world are sending battalions of their armed forces to Ukraine, which is not making things any simpler for Russia in this predicament. Eliminating that would result in a different situ. Everything originated in the country that is now known as the United States of America. The undertaking that has the potential to bring an end to the occupation in its entirety has been reinstated. This project, which has seen a significant amount of interest, will be initiated in the coming days. The international community's press is of the opinion that it is high time for Russia to face consequences for breaking international law by conducting numerous heavy weapon tests. On the Ukrainian army, the potential for Ukraine to reclaim its previous territory is currently regarded as one of the most pressing concerns facing the nation at this juncture. The reason for this is that Russia illegally and without any justification occupied these territories, which led to the situ. Russia has gone completely insane as a result of the fact that other nations place such high importance on the recovery of these territories. As a form of retaliation, Russia maintains its policy of issuing nuclear threats whenever it perceives itself to be in danger. It is common knowledge that in the event that these dangers actually materialize, they will have repercussions not only for Ukraine but for the entire. The state of global peace is teetering on the brink of disintegration as a direct result of Russia's actions. The unease that other countries experience as a result of being threatened is causing them to turn against Russia while the number of countries that support Ukraine is growing. Over the course of the past few months, the United States has consistently maintained that it will not provide Ukraine with long-range patriot. If they were handed over to the Ukraine, it would set off the Third World War, but then it made the decision to fire these missiles, which resulted in a major uproar because the United States had been contemplating doing this for a long time, but had chosen not to. This move by Russia came as something of a surprise. This infuriated Putin, and he did not hold back when it came to reiterating his threats to use nuclear weapons since a long time. The United Nations has been monitoring Russia because it does not follow its rules. It was prepared to offer assistance to Ukraine and was waiting for it. Russia has been completely cut off from the rest of the world as a direct result of the rash actions and decisions taken by Vladimir Putin and his government. Instead of being seen as support, the assistance provided to Ukraine is now seen as a direct intervention in the vote as a result of this inter. Putin's anger toward other countries has increased. Things have reached a whole new level as a direct result of Russia's recent escalation of threats and pressure, not only against Ukraine, but also against other countries. Russia's actions have been observed by NATO before this, and throughout its history, many different policies have been pursued to alter the course. This is demonstrated by the consistent assistance they provide to. In order to generate a reaction against Russia, a coalition known as the Peace Forces was formed, the majority of the members of which are members of NATO. The primary goal of the Peace Forces, as the name suggests, is to ensure peace by supporting the righteous. They want to stop Russia, which has unjustly started moving towards organized invasions. So their goal is to push them back. It has been speculated that this group will endow Ukraine with a significant amount of. It is known that it will be able to take a much more prominent position against Russia if it has such power, and this power will allow it to do so. These predictions have caused panic on Putin's part because NATO has made it clear that they are prepared for a hot war, even though they are not currently in favor of one. They will be on Ukraine's side if and when it becomes necessary in the future, knowing that if Ukraine has the firepower of NATO, they will be severely set back in the... Putin was forced into a corner as a result of this situation. Putin, who had never been willing to make a deal before this, demanded that a resolution 
resolution to what had occurred be reached as quickly as possible, Crimea, which was located on Ukrainian territory, was conquered by the Russians. However, since there was no comprehensive explanation from the Ukrainian government at the time, Russia appeared to own Crimea in official document. Linsky is working toward regaining ownership of these lands. His efforts in this regard demonstrate how much further Ukraine is getting from day to day. The fact that Ukraine, which at first was only trying to defend its country, was eventually able to protect its own interests by asserting its rights revealed a shift in the direction that the conflict was taking. It has come to light that Iran has been supporting. It was discovered that Iran had given Russia assistance in the form of ammunition, despite the fact that many countries expressed their support for Ukraine's war of independence. There is no longer any doubt regarding the fact that Iran has supplied Russia with 1,000 unmanned aerial vehicles in spite of the fact that the Iranian government claims that the equipment in question was delivered a significant amount of time before the. It is now common knowledge that the assistance was provided throughout the conflict. The actions taken by Iran have stoked fears of a third global conflict and contributed to their spread, continue to cause tension on top of everything else. The global agenda and the media have created an environment that is very fraught with tension, but Putin has not changed his mind and has no plans to withdraw from the conflict. War analysts believe that Russia's stance could eventually result in the outbreak of a full-scale global conflict. Russia is aware that Ukraine is supported by a coalition of many powerful states, despite the fact that it has a strong alliance with Iran. It is also common knowledge that with the assistance of these nations, it will only be a matter of time before Russia is expelled from the territory of. Russia's ability to endure continues to decrease on a day-to-day -day basis, even though there are a lot of things that are contributing to this. The two things that are most important are Putin's prophetic policies and a stubborn desire to drag out the war for as long as possible. But while Putin's own army is reluctant, and worn out from the war, it is facing off against a powerful Ukrainian army that has the support of almost the entire. The fact that the Russian army has been fighting independently ever since the conflict broke out has repercussions not only for the military conflict, but also for the political conflict. While ammunition aid is being delivered to Ukraine, Putin is fuming about the fact that Russia can't even find supporters for itself in the international community. Putin, who has garnered a lot of attention in the politics of the world, is still being put under a lot of pressure thanks to the many discourses. That includes his decision to resign. In addition, it is common knowledge that he has begun to lose support, not only in the press of the rest of the world, but also in the press of his own country. The more they try to exert more control over the people who take to the streets and demonstrations, the more people take to the streets and demonstrations as a. The fact that the these demonstrations are also taking place in other nations demonstrates that support for Ukraine has been accepted not only by governments, but also by the people of the world. Despite the enormous amount of pressure that is being exerted internationally, Putin, it is abundantly clear that he has absolutely no plans to pull back his army under any circumstances. Next news. The Russian military has taken a significant hit as a result of this operation carried out by the Ukrainians. The Russian occupiers have been filled with great fear as a result of this operation. The lives and well-being of Russian service members are currently in grave peril. Many issues plaguing the Russian army led to its members beginning to desert their posts with their flaws performance. The Ukrainian forces are denying the Russian invaders any opportunity for a reprieve more strategies. Putin has completely lost his mind after the operat. The most recent incident in the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine took place in the Ukrainian city of Backward, where Ukrainian forces were successful in dealing a significant blow to the Russian invaders. Since the very first minutes of the conflict, there have been intense skirmishes between the opposing forces. The Russian forces who have sustained significant casualties in these clashes are at a loss for what to do. It continues to repel Russian forces from the places it occupies, and a number of countries are providing support for Ukraine in this endeavor. The outcome of the war is determined by Ukraine, which has achieved a great deal of success with the divorce strategies that they use in these repulsions over the past few days. The operation to breach the embankment protecting the Russian headquarters has been a topic of discussion all over the, since the very first minutes of the war when the Russian invaders were making their way forward. The region known as Backward has been the site of a significant battle. As a result of the establishment of the Russian headquarters in Back, most, the Russian forces were able to organize their operations regardless of the regional fuel price. Because of this operation, which dealt a significant blow to Russian forces, the invasions have been stopped after hearing this inform. Putin completely lost his mind. 
the intelligence network of the Ukraine, which was developed with the assistance of the Ukraine, was a significant contributor to the accomplishment of this mission with flying colors. The success or failure of the operations that were carried out by the Ukrainian forces in many locations was determined in large part by Turkey's Barak, also known as unmanned aerial vehicles, which are considered to be at the highest technological. And this operation, which was organized in the opposite direction, was successful in large part due to the director's provision of intelligence. Following the occupation of backwards by Russian forces, it was decided that a headquarters should be established these headquarters, which were established in a variety of locations throughout the wilderness, are of critical significance in terms of the number of military personnel and the ammunition. A. The Russian forces were also aware that a hit from the Ukrainian side to the resource quarters would have significant repercussions. However, the Russian military's air defense systems are sorely outdated, rendering them ineffective. The advancements made by the Ukraine's intelligence community made it possible for the country to take the lead in this competition throughout the entirety of the, the Russian forces that were planning a massive invasion had no idea what was about to transpire with regard to them. Nobody could have possibly imagined that any attack would have such a significant effect on the population. The fact that Russian forces were able to execute their invasion plans through this region significantly contributed to the severity of the impact regarding the operation. Ukrainian forces began conducting general patrols by sending out their VERS as they routinely. Meanwhile, within Ukrainian territory, Bay Raptor observed the establishment of two headquarters, one of which was backward. If these headquarters, which were in the process of being established, were successful in being established, they would pose a significant challenge for Ukraine, mainly due to the fact that the size of these headquarters nearly covered the entirety of the. It is impossible to imagine that such a massive headquarters would serve any purpose other than to occupy the entirety of the region. As soon as they became aware of this, Ukrainian forces went into action. This operation, which was planned using sophisticated war strategies, had the potential to deal a significant blow to the Russian forces. During the operation, Ukrainian forces were the ones to initially launch bioreactors in an attempt to locate the Russian invaders' headquarters. The pinpoint intelligence provided by the VER actors allowed the Ukrainian forces to easily monitor the headquarters of the enemy. The information obtained from this intelligence van prompted the Ukrainian army to adjust its operational plans. As a result, the Ukrainian army was able to easily monitor these headquarters. In order to deal a more severe blow, it intended to strike the ammunition depots that were built into the headquarters. On the other hand, the warehouses, or it could have been totally vacant while the headquarters were being constructed. In order to put this plan into action, the Ukrainian army came to the conclusion that they needed to wait until the headquarters, ammunition depots were completely. The Ukrainian army, which had begun a patient wait, pressed the button of the operation with the last intelligence provided by VER actors, Barak doors. The VER actors had informed the Ukrainian army that a large number of trucks were approaching the warehouses and that an incredible quantity of ammunition and military equipment was being loaded from the trucks. As soon as the Ukrainian military became aware of this in form, they immediately sent us MA's missiles to two different military headquarters and carried out pinpoint strikes on the way to victory for the Ukraine. Hezbollah missiles were employed on numerous occasions. The HIMS missiles, which have had a lot of previous success, have had a significant amount of success with this operation. The storage areas of the headquarters were completely crammed with an arsenal's worth of firearms, ammunition, and other military hard. After ensuring that no one was inside the warehouses, the Ukrainian army prepared to launch the operation. The headquarters came under attack from Jimmery's missiles fired by the United States. Multiple explosions were caused by Jimmery's missiles because they hit multiple points within the headquarters. After the second launch of the Hamas missiles, some of the missiles actually landed in Inside the, the explosion in the warehouse and the detonation of the explosives were caused by the missiles. There was a significant explosion, and the administration building was completely obliterated. The explosions caused a massive conflagration to rise up out of the ground. The Russian soldiers were never given a clear explanation regarding what had transpired with these explosions. There was a widespread panic among the Russian soldier. The Russian soldiers were unable to launch any kind of offensive against the opposing country. The Ukrainian armed forces were anxious to confirm that they had all of the orders were rendered null and void. Hedgehog armored vehicles were driven to the headquarters of the organization. The Ukrainian forces, who did not want to put themselves in harm's way by having to face the possibility of the fires caused by the large explosions, 
setting off another explosive, moved away from the area where the explosions took place. This operation was on everyone's to-do list across the entire planet because the warehouses of these headquarters were stocked with weapons and ammunition for the invasion plan of not only Badmouth, but also a great many other places. The operation was able to deal such a significant blow to the Russian forces. This was the reason why the operation was so success. The destruction of these firearms and ammunition, the cost of providing the Russian army with military equipment was approximately 13 million. After the operation, it was demonstrated that Putin had gone completely insane. It would appear that the Russian forces who have been unsuccessful in every operation so far are unable to continue their occupation in light of this significant loss. Russia which suffered a new defeat every day of the, continues to enter into great economic difficulties despite its resilience. Throughout the conflict, the current economic crisis will likely be followed by a string of other crises. The Russian people have shown the greatest level of reaction to the crisis. Protests have erupted in a number of different locations across Russia because the people of that country want this occupation and war to. A major crisis has arisen in a number of different regions of Russia. As a direct result of Putin's inept military policies, the people who are speaking Speaking out about this crisis argue that Putin ought to abdicate his position as leader of Russia in an effort to assist locals in regaining their health. Volunteer physicians from numerous parts of the world have converged on Russia, a country whose healthcare system is also experiencing significant difficult. The people of the city are unable to find a solution to their health issues because almost all of the city's hospitals are currently treating Russian soldiers. Putin is falling further and further behind on the battlefield as a result of the millions of dollars in losses incurred by each operation. The significant assistance that has been provided to Ukraine has consistently undermined Russia's position. Putin who is even incapable of defending himself at this. This headquarters maintains its threat against any nation that provides assistance to Ukraine. Soldiers from Russia witnessed firsthand how much more capable Ukraine was during the most recent operation. As a result of their superiority, soldiers within the army began to revolt against their superiors. One by one Russian soldiers who refused to let their lives be disregarded started fleeing the army in an effort to save their own. The local population and the army both experienced a significant crisis at the same time. The the problem of not even being able to meet the most fundamental requirements can also be seen in the armed forces. Russian soldiers who participate in training that lasts for multiple days must go to sleep hungry every single night. The soldiers' dissatisfaction with the oppressive conditions they are forced to endure in the military is growing by the porter who was aware of these uprisings is also experiencing a significant amount of fear regarding an impending coup in order to prevent further military takeovers. Vladimir Putin has vested extraordinary authority in members of the armed forces whom he is certain are on his side and have these abilities because military personnel arrest anyone who walks in front of them. Every prison is currently overflowing with military person. Nobody knows when the current four-year conflict in which almost the entire world is engaged will come to an end. There are still calls coming in every single day. Everyone is telling Putin to stop, including other countries. If Russia keeps up its current rate of invasion, it is going to suffer a great number of additional casualties, and when these casualties add up, it will be the end of Russia according to the statements made by analysts to study. Putin's anger has been fueled by the ineffectiveness of the Russian military in Ukraine, and he has recently resumed making threats to use nuclear weapons. The agenda was thrown into disarray as a result of these dangers, which affected a great number of countries. Russia's decline is getting steadily worse day by day. Is the Russian Federation truly considering the use of its nuclear weapons? Following the Russian army's victorious occupation of the city of Sadar, the retreat began almost immediately in the opposite direction. On the other hand, it is common knowledge that Russia's power has begun to dwindle in the most recent of days. Russia began to launch operations in the opposite direction, but was at a loss for what to do when confronted with the strong defense put up by the army, which suffered a significant loss of soldiers as a result of the chaos and times. On the other hand, Russia believes that if it can occupy the backward region of the country, it can take the entire country. Russia is set on invading as they are confident that their offensive last month resulted in a significant victory that altered the overall trajectory of the conflict after taking as much damage as they try to inflict on. The Russian army is down to its last few trump cards and is trying to win the game. Russia, which was unyielding in its operations within the city of Beckman, was to the point where it was unable to contribute adequately to ground assaults. After that, they kept up their attacks from the sky and concentrated their efforts on launching airstrikes. Putin, who has lost a large number of soldiers in this region, continues to believe that the reason for this is not the flawed policies he has pursued, but rather the lack of skill on the part of the soldiers he persists in deceiving the army, which is 
is already ineffective due to poor leadership and management by imposing a greater number of stringent rules and providing less comfort as a result of the increased number of airstrikes that have been carried out in recent, an airplane was shot down, which infuriated Vladimir Putin, Putin, who once again placed the blame on the soldiers lashed out at the commanders, despite the fact that many of them participated in anti-war demonstrations and resigned from their positions. Putin's position has not shifted in any way, which once again demonstrates his resolve. Putin is being forced into a corner as a result of the fact that, thanks to the support it receives from all over the world is living like Russia, which is falling behind by one step with each passing day. As a consequence of this, Putin has found a solution to the problem by renewing his threats to use nuclear weapons because using nuclear weapons would have irreversible effects on the entire world. The international community continues to take a firm stance against these. The rhetoric of Vladimir Putin, which places the Russian Federation in a politically precarious situation, is steadily ratcheting up the amount of pressure that is being applied to them. Even though NATO has been sounding the alarm about these nuclear dangers for a very long time, Russia never stops making threats whenever it feels like it is being cornered. Germany's assistance to Ukraine was enough to rekindle Putin's animosity toward the, even as support for Ukraine from major nations like the United States continues to enrage Putin, it is common knowledge that the tanks and aircraft that have been sent to Ukraine are the impetus behind Putin's most recent nuclear threat. Putin has stated that these threats will become reality if the aid is not stopped. Putin is working hard to reclaim the advantage he held at the beginning of the, according to another theory, the nuclear missile mansions are actually long-range satellite nuclear missiles that can travel between 11,000 and 18,000 kilometers. These missiles pack such a destructive punch that they are capable of leaving a significant impact wherever they go. The Russian military has been thrown into disarray as a result of Ukraine's ability to respond to many recent operations by defending itself in the most effective manner. As a result of the unfolding events, Ukraine, which has received a vast array of assistance from a variety of countries shifted its focus from defense to offense in some areas. The fact that Ukraine, which they believed they could defeat in a few weeks, has resisted the invasion to such a great extent, and that the war has been going on for more than a year, demonstrates that Putin has failed to keep his promises when it was reported that he would do. On the retreating front, more than 800 of Russia's soldiers were killed. The number of responses increased precipitously, the loss of a large number of soldiers, even in the regions where they were successful, and the rapid increase in this number in the new regions they entered for occupation caused the populace to become enraged. In addition, the fact that these soldiers were forced into the war against their will by being recruited into it demonstrated once again how justified their reactions were. It is common knowledge that Russia, which has not stopped its relentless campaign of airstrikes, is attempting to gain an advantage in this way. In spite of this, there has been no reduction at all in the number of soldiers who have been. The fact that Russia is providing Ukraine with a significant amount of military air power prevents it from getting ahead of Ukraine. In this regard, Putin is still getting pushback from countries all over the world. The United States has made it clear that it will take action against Russia in the event that it follows through with the threats it has made and makes attempts to launch a nuclear war. Russia has stated that it is much stronger than the United States when it comes to nuclear arm. Despite the fact that the rest of the world is aware of the power that the United States possesses in terms of its weaponry, Russia, which asserts that it is the country in the world with the most powerful nuclear arsenal, has made it abundantly clear that in the event of any response, it will destroy its adversaries. The fact that he included all countries in his statements had a significant effect on the coverage of those statements in international, even though a great number of analysts believe that these statements are nothing more than attempts at intimidation, it appears that the United States will not keep quiet about these threats. Threats. It is clear from Russia's rhetoric that the country is terrified of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the might of the United States and Putin's refusal to provide assistance to Ukraine, in saying that it will not be necessary to use nuclear weapons if they withdraw them. Russia is leaving the possibility open that it will do. However, the United States is adamant about maintaining its support. The power that Russia held at the start of the war is gradually eroding away as the conflict continues because of this. Many people believe that it is attempting to maintain its authority by making significant claims about the fact that the war has lasted for a longer period of time than was anticipated and resulted in major demonstrations on the global, is causing Putin's anger to grow day by day. Russia is falling further behind the competition on the battlefield as a direct result of its uncontrolled army and unbalanced policies. It is common knowledge that the Russian submarine known as the Belgar Garage
Bangladesh possesses a sizable amount of nuclear power. The repeated disappearance of this nuclear submarine lends credence to the theory that preparations are currently being made for its deploy. It is common knowledge that Russia possesses a substantial amount of nuclear power. Consequently, many people believe that the deployment of this nuclear submarine could have significant consequences. Unease has spread throughout the entire world as a result of the prospect of the onset of World War III. In the event that Russia, which has increased the pressures exerted by its air force, brings its nuclear-powered submarines into the field of, the strength of Russia's armed forces continues to wane with each passing day. Putin is looking for volunteer soldiers all over the country, but it is very difficult for them to find volunteers while the soldiers who are already in the army are deserting one by one. Putin is looking for volunteer soldiers all over the country. The fact that Russia has lost a significantly larger number of soldiers than was anticipated in this war is one of the factors that has contributed to the increase in protest. Putin is adamantly committed to carrying on with the war, despite the fact that he is unable to keep the promises he made to his people. The fact that a significant number of conscripted citizens are giving their lives for the sake of an unjust war continues to increase the amount of pressure that is being applied to Putin. Putin, who believed that he could gather supporters with provocations, realized that he was cornered as he faced the opposite reaction than he had anticipated. Analysts of the conflict believe that Putin's most recent statements will push the conflict to a point where it cannot be turned around. Things have gotten very complicated for Russia as a result of the partial mobilization, which was followed by an increase in the number of army desertions and the emergence of videos of soldiers confessing their actions. Putin has finally been brought into focus thanks to the sale of the exposed footage to Word. However, he is no longer capable of recovering. After coming to terms with the gravity of the situation, the government of Russia settled on much more severe responses and more stringent regulations as the solution. However, these regulations appear to have no effect other than to make the army more hesitant and exhausted with recruits and commanders unwilling to fight on Ukrainian. The length of time that the war will continue has grown steadily longer, and the level of damage it has caused has reached a point where it cannot be undone. In addition to this, Russia is in a difficult situation and as a result it has called on its soldiers who are currently serving in other countries to report for duty in Ukraine. The Russian bureaucrats all came to the conclusion that this war needed to be stopped as quickly as possible and a new leader needed to be installed in. It is believed that Russia's army's lack of support is the primary reason why it has not been successful in achieving victory in its conflict with Ukraine, which Russia initially believed it would easily win. The Russian army that was stationed on the Belarus border was taken aback when they saw Israeli tanks there. It turned out that several months ago, the Israeli Israeli government had arranged for a shipment of military supplies to be sent to the Ukrainian. Tanks belonging to the Israeli military are stationed on the Ukrainian border in order to prevent an attack by Russian forces on the Belarusian border. Vladimir Putin, the leader of Russia, has started making preparations for a new Putin, has moved Russian troops stationed in eastern Ukraine to the border with Belarus Putin's army, currently numbers 500,000 men, and it is passively stationed on Ukrainian tea. In addition, Russia has begun sending a large number of soldiers, armored vehicles, tanks, weapons, ammunition, and it has 400 air defense system from Russia to Belarus. The Ukrainian government has started to feel a great deal of unease as a result of these military shipments. Officials from the United States have warned that Vladimir Putin will soon issue a new mobilization order and begin a new offensive against Ukraine following these warnings. The authorities in Ukraine began work on enhancing the security of the border between their country and Belarus. Everybody was taken aback by the statements made by Benjamin Netanyahu who was recently re-elected to his position as Prime Minister of Israel. Netanyahu stated this while speaking to the Siena television channel. He claimed that Russia is attempting to prevent allied countries from sending assistance to the Ukrainian. It is a well-known fact that Israel and Iran have been involved in a contentious conflict for a number of years. These two nations, which have been engaging in what has been referred to as the War of Shadows for a number of years, continue to carry out mutual airstrikes against one another. Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, made a statement saying that his country had halted the shipment of ammunition, trucks that were being sent from Iran to Russia and that they were supporting the Ukrainian armed forces in this way. Shortly before Netanyahu's statement, officials from the United States stated that Israel was covertly supporting the Ukrainian army and sending a significant quantity of armored vehicles and ammunition. Netanyahu's statement came shortly after those statements. Yahoo, the Prime Minister of Israel, said that he accepted the statements made by the United States and that he acknowledged that ammunition had previously been sent to Ukraine. 
However, he was completely ignorant about tanks and other armored vehicles. A few months ago, in response to comments made by Netanyahu, Israeli tanks showed up on the border between Ukraine and Belarus. The Russian military has launched an offensive on the Ukrainian rear. The Donetsk region is the reason why the Ukrainian army is focusing their attention on this particular region. This is precisely what Vladimir Putin had hoped would happen. Putin dispatched a sizable number of troops to the rear guard area of the front line and made an effort to ensure that Ukraine defended its rear with the entirety of its armed forces. Other regions of Ukraine would be defenseless as a result of and Russian forces could easily extend an invitation to Vladimir in a hurry. Putin's true intention was to enter Ukrainian territory through the border with Belarus and make rapid progress toward the capital city of Kyiv. On the other hand, the United States, which was aware of the situation, issued a warning to the Ukrainian army and requested that it gather more troops near the border with Lar. In response to the warning issued by the United States, Ukraine has begun to prepare for a new invasion from Russia by deploying a large number of soldiers and armored vehicles to the border. With Belarus on the Ukrainian side of the border with fellers, Ukrainian soldiers have begun digging new fronts and positions. Tanks from Ukraine that had originated in Kiev had traveled all the way to the Belarusian border by the time they were spotted on Ukrainian territory. For the first, the Merkava tanks, which were manufactured in Israel, marched up to the Belarusian border waving Ukrainian flags. The Israeli tanks were moved to the Belarusian border where they assumed a defensive position against the possibility of a fresh Russian invasion. When Ukrainian soldiers first came across these tanks, they were taken aback by their appearance. Israel, which has for a long time maintained a policy of neutrality in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, had earlier provided tanks for the Ukrainian army several months before. Officials from the United States of America have stated that the Israeli government has in the past covertly provided assistance including Israeli tanks to the Ukrainian armed forces. These assertions made by the United States were validated when Israeli tanks were spotted, stationed in the Ukrainian town, Afra, which is located on the border with Belarus. It has been common knowledge for some time that the Israeli government has supplied the Ukrainian military with intelligence support as well as radar systems. On the other hand, there was no information to suggest that Israel was sending. Following the deployment of Marva model tanks to the Ukrainian border with Belarus, the Ukrainian government issued a statement regarding this matter. It has been reported that several months ago, in conjunction with Israel, a significant number of tanks were acquired. Tanks and other armored vehicles, along with training officers, were sent to Ukraine. Additionally, Ukrainian troops were instructed by Israeli troops on how to operate the tanks and other armored vehicle. Officials from Ukraine have stated that these tanks were supposed to protect Kyiv, but instead removed to the Belarusian border. In preparation for a new attack launched by Vladimir Putin on the Belarusian border, the entire world is curious about when the Russian army will begin a new offensive on Ukrainian territory, and many believe it will happen soon in order for such an attack to be carried. The leader of Russia, Vladimir Putin, will need to issue an order for the full mobilization of the armed forces. Nevertheless, if Vladimir Putin issues a second mobilization order, he will discover that the Russian people are opposed to him in the same manner that they responded to the first partial mobilization order. Well damn, Putin was able to quell the uprising of Russian citizens who took to the this time around. However, there is discussion of a 500,000-strong army, which indicates that more than 400,000 Russian citizens will be included in the Russian army. The mental preparedness of the Russian people to deal with the implications of such a mobilization decision is currently lacking. In the event that Russia issues another call for mobilization, the Russian people may once again take to the streets and begin organizing new demonstration. The authority of the Russian leader would suffer a significant blow as a result of this Baltimore Putin. According to some estimates, the number of Russian citizens citizens who have fled their country since the conflict began is greater than 1 million. This number has the potential to reach 2 million if all resources are utilized on the territory of Ukraine. The Russian armed forces have recently begun suffering significantly more casualties than in the recent. It is a tragic reality that the Russian army has suffered the loss of over 150,000 soldiers to this point. The Russian government claims that this information is a state secret and therefore cannot be disclosed despite the fact that the Ukrainian Defense Ministry publishes the current state of affairs every month. However, many authorities agree that there is another explanation for why this information has not been. Vladimir Putin, the leader of Russia, is extremely concerned that the Russian people will find out about the losses suffered by the Russian army because of the authoritarian government.
government that he has established in his country, Vladimir Putin. The leader of Russia has a great deal of fear of the Russian people. Even though Vladimir Putin has taken control of the media and the judiciary, he still finds it extremely challenging to exert his authority over the Russian. Both the conflict occurring within Russia's borders and the uprisings that have taken place within the Russian armed forces currently engaged in the conflict in Ukraine have caused Putin to feel a growing sense of unease. Recent reports have informed us that Russian commanders who are currently engaged in combat in Ukraine are frequently attempting to flee the area. Andrei Medvedev, a Russian commander who was able to flee the country and take refuge in, nor was the one who eventually came forward with the truth about the Russians in the name of both myself and the Afghan Pisan, who established the Wagner Mercenary Company as stated in the Russian commander's alleged confessions. Russian troops that have been deployed on Ukrainian soil are compelled to engage in combat. They are threatened with starvation or physical assault if they do not engage in combat. According to Medvedev, many Russian soldiers who refused to fight in Ukraine were even shot by their superiors after being ordered to do so. According to Medvedev, Russian commanders have been shooting at Russian soldiers who are either not fighting or are in front of them in order to intimidate the Russian soldiers who have just been deployed on Ukrainian territory. According to the allegations, the Russian commander who was in charge of the prisoner soldiers stated that there was a unit of Russian prisoners under his. This group of incarcerated individuals is currently engaging in combat on Ukrainian soil. On the front line, Vladimir Putin has stated in the past that a significant sum of money will be paid to the families of Russian prisoners who pass away while being held on Ukrainian territory. Nevertheless, according to Russian commander Medvedev, many Russian prisoners had passed away on Ukrainian soil, but none of them had been officially recorded as having passed. By reporting the prisoners as missing, the Russian commanders were able to ensure that the Russian government would not give the money to the families of the prisoners who had been killed in captivity.